On our most recent international trip, we had the opportunity to test out the Voyager 26-inch check-in, the Voyager 20-inch carry-on, and the luminous textured 20-inch carry-on, all from Level 8. And I even got to test out the Atlas laptop backpack. So are they as good as everyone on Instagram and YouTube says they are? Hey travelers, I'm Chris Dickman, the president of Cruise Report, and today I'm going to review some of the luggage items from Level 8. I want to mention that Level 8 did not pay us to make this video, and no money has changed hands. However, Level 8 did send us this luggage for us to use, to test, and to review. Level 8 does not get to preview this video, and they have no idea what we're going to say. I'm going to tell you exactly what we liked about these products and what we don't like. So let's get started. I'll put links to these products in the description of this video should you be interested in purchasing or getting more information. So for now, you can just sit back and relax and enjoy the show. First to arrive at our home was the Voyager two-piece luggage set, which included a 26-inch check-in and a 20-inch carry-on. If you require more carrying capacity, this set is also available with a 28-inch check-in. The set is available in all black or yellow and black. And we chose the yellow and black for reasons I'll explain later. One of the first things you noticed after unpacking the bag is how lightweight both of these pieces of luggage are. The shell material feels very thin and very flexible, which raises questions about durability, but we'll find out more about that later on. One of the distinguishing features of the Level 8 check-in is the handle that's on the lid of the bag in addition to the one on the very top, and there's another handle on the side. There are four hard rubber feet on the bottom of the bag and four more on one side of the bag. The most distinctive feature of the Voyager luggage is this pull handle that spans the entire width of the bag. The Level 8 website does claim that these bags have YKK zippers, which are the highest quality in the industry. However, these zippers are not waterproof. And you won't find the YKK branding anywhere on the zippers. Level 8 has their own branded zipper pulls. The interior depth of the base of our 26 inch bag, we measured at about eight inches. The lid has a depth of about four and a half inches. On our bag, the compression divider was split into two sections. One is this semi-transparent, sort of opaque plastic container and then on the opposite is a mesh area where you could store other items. The interior of the bags is where things get a little confusing because our divider did not match the pictures that were on the Level 8 website and they do even say that different luggage is configured differently and it just depends on uh, which set you get. Our base did have this these compression straps, which we really do like, but apparently there are some bags that ship without these compression straps, which we find interesting because we think those are a really important part of the luggage. I would have preferred that these tie-down straps be attached to the interior of the luggage, perhaps halfway down the side of the base, as opposed to at the very top of the base, because if you only pack your bag half full, there's really no way to compress it down with the straps attached at these top corners. The lid also has its own mesh compression divider with a zipper, but there's no storage compartments built into the divider 
and there are no tie-down straps in the lid. And while that handle that's built into the lid of the suitcase is a nice feature, it does take up space on the interior as it kind of protrudes on the inside of that lid. Each of the four casters has two ball bearing wheels. They are plastic, but they do have rubber tread. And these are probably the easiest bags we've ever seen to roll, either on hard surfaces or carpeting. They literally almost roll by themselves. Very, very easy to move around. One of the best features of these bags. Here you can see the comparative size of the 26-inch check-in next to the 20-inch carry-on. Now let's take a look at the 20-inch Voyager carry-on. Both the carry-on and the check bag come with virtually identical instruction manuals and literature. You might be a little confused by the documentation because, as you can see here, this one shows that the carry-on has the tie-down straps. I can only assume that it's illustrated with a dotted line to indicate that you may or may not get those tie-down straps. Their website does say there's two different versions and they ship them randomly. Both the carry-on and the checked bag have TSA locks with a three-digit code and the instructions do explain how to set your own three-digit code. To use the lock, you simply place the zipper pull into the little slots. In this case, it's on the top of the carry-on. It's actually on the side of the checked bag. And once they're snapped into place, you then set the tumbler on the TSA lock and that will make it uh, locked so that nobody can get in once you've set your code. When you're ready to open the bag, simply reset your personal code, flip the little slide, and release the zipper pulls. Let's take a look inside this 20-inch Voyager carry-on. You'll notice that the design of the compression dividers is almost identical to the 26-inch checked bag. Both dividers have zippers that go all the way around. One half of the divider has this semi-transparent plastic, more or less waterproof. Uh, if you had something damp, you didn't want to get the other items in your suitcase wet, you would use that. And then the other side has this mesh pocket that you can see through. When we pull back the divider and look at the interior of the base side of the bag, you'll notice you have a nearly wall-to-wall -wall surface, a completely flat surface for packing. Now this is possible because of that full width handle, the pull handle. Uh, it doesn't have the rails going down the center of the base to take up room from the interior of the bag. This is the same on the checked bag, the larger 26 inch same way. That base is completely flat and makes it very easy to pack large items. Now the lid half of this carry-on is also completely flat because there is no handle on the lid like there is on the 26 inch checked bag. So both the lid and the base are completely flat. Very good for packing. The 20 inch carry-on also has those four rubber feet on the base, on the back of the base, and four rubber feet on the side opposite of the handle. There are actually two handles. There's one on the side and one on the top. We also had the opportunity to test out and review the Luminous Textured Bag 
which you see here in green, it's sitting right next to the Voyager. It is virtually identical in every way, except you'll notice it has the more traditional narrow handle. Now, there are some advantages to that. In fact, Ricky preferred to use the one with the narrow handle, and we'll show you why here in just a second. Other than that, the bags are virtually identical. There are no rubber feet on the base like there is on the Voyager. You'll notice that. But there are rubber feet on one of the sides opposite the handle. And here you can see both handles fully extended. And this is why Ricky prefers the Luminous because she can slip her personal bag over the handle. Her personal bag will not fit over the handle of the Voyager. It's just too, the handle is just too wide. It'd be nice if they would make some sort of a, maybe a fabric or nylon adapter that could be used for that purpose, but right now they don't. Other than that, the interior and the rest of the features of the bag are virtually identical to the Voyager. Now here you can see the interior of the base. You see those rails and those are for the handle. And they do get in the way when you pack. So you have to pack on either side or in between them. And that is the advantage of the Voyager model. But you again can't slip a personal bag over that handle. Another difference is the other divider only has two pockets that are both mesh. There is no plastic or more or less moisture proof pocket. These were both mesh pockets on the Luminous model. I'm not sure if it's that way on every one of them, but it was on ours. And neither our Voyager nor our Luminous carry-on had any tie-down straps on either side of the bag. And while it may just be my personal opinion, I think the liner fabric in the Voyager is a little bit nicer, a little bit more upscale than on the Luminous model. So other than the lack of the feet on the base of the bag, on the back side of the bag, the difference in the narrow handle and that liner material on the interior, the bags are virtually identical. They have the exact same TSA lock even the shell material feels like the same material and I couldn't tell any difference in the weight. Here you can see the Voyager next to the Luminous and you can see the similarities. The biggest difference is going to be those rails that do intrude on the interior of the base on the Luminous model. And you don't have that with the Voyager. When it came time to pack for our trip, Ricky chose the Luminous model because she wanted to be able to place her personal bag over that narrow handle. But in spite of the handle rails intruding on the base, she had no trouble packing everything she needed in the Luminous. Now I'm using the Voyager carry-on. I am taking one packable with some clothes, but almost everything else I'm taking with me is electronic gear. I take a lot of camera gear when I travel, and I had absolutely no trouble, especially with that beautiful flat base, uh, no intrusion from any rails. You can see everything just drops right in perfectly. Packing the 26 inch checked bag is really easy with that flat base without the rails intruding really made packing a breeze and it may be psychological but it sure feels like it holds a lot more. We packed all of the clothes for both of us into this bag along with some more electronics and a few other items and our issue was not one of available volume but one of weight. As you can see here when I go to pick up the bag it it flexes quite a bit that shell material is very flexible which makes it very lightweight but our concerns were about durability we had way too much packed in this bag originally we had about 60 pounds we had to take a few things out to meet the weight requirements of the airline but i'm just demonstrating here how flexible that material is and uh, kind of soft but it it did seem to hold up very well once we arrived at the airport, Ricky had no trouble managing the 26-inch checked bag and that luminous carry-on 
with her personal bag on top and these things roll so easy it's pretty amazing and we went ahead and checked that bag to go on to San Jose Costa Rica I would like to re-emphasize how the wheels and the casters on these bags function they roll so easily you almost have to be careful not to let go because they will just roll on their own of course we did test rolling these bags on hard surfaces like here at the airport as well as carpet and even some plush carpet and no matter what surface we tested on as well as outdoor on streets and sidewalks no matter what the surface the bags roll easier than any bags we've tested to date now one of the reasons we did choose the black and yellow color combination once we're at baggage claim in Costa Rica, as you can see, most of the bags coming off of the plane are black. And that just makes it that much harder to find your particular bag. But trust me, when that big yellow and black bag comes down uh, the carousel, you aren't going to miss it. That handle being placed on top of the bag also makes it very easy to get off of the carousel. So how did these level 8 bags end up performing on this 10-day trip, which included three different flights? So we had to check and retrieve the checked bag three different times on three different carousels. Both carry-on bags performed very well, and we had no trouble getting them into the overhead bins on the three different aircraft we flew on. They fit fine, and they were light enough to make it easy to get them up into the overhead bin. The larger checked bag seemed to handle the three different baggage carousels very well. We did get a little bit of marring on the bag, but that's common with any luggage. So this is what the checked bag looked like when we returned home. Now, this is the top, the yellow part, and of course yellow, a lighter color, is going to show a lot more dirt, a lot more abuse than a black bag would. You just wouldn't see it on black as much. There are several scuff marks, but none of the shell was damaged. It didn't, you know, crack or break or anything like that. It's so flexible, I don't think it would. All of the rubber feet remained intact, both on the side and on the back. Uh, you just notice these scuff marks, and the wheels remained completely undamaged. I was able to use one of those Mr. Clean Magic Erasers and was able to get rid of about 90% of the scuff marks and the discoloration, which was really probably just grime and dirt from other luggage. So they clean up very easily, very nicely. If I was willing to spend more time, I think I could bring it back uh, almost to new condition. So what is our final assessment of the Voyager carry-on and checked bag set from Level 8? The first thing we love about these bags is how easy they are to pack because of those wide handles that don't intrude on the interior of the bag. We also feel like they're a very, very good value. Our set was $459 at the time of this video, and I think for another $30 you can get the larger 28-inch checked bag. If you want the flexibility to be able to slip your personal bag over that handle on the carry-on, you're going to have to opt for something like the Luminous. You could, of course, then just buy the larger checked bag in the Voyager if you wanted to and have a combination. Unfortunately, the Luminous does not come in the matching yellow and black. Our only real complaint would be the fact that neither of the carry-on bags we received had tie-down straps, compression straps on the interior of the bag. That's something we wish Level 8 would add to all of their luggage. When it comes time to using the luggage, you won't find any luggage easier to transport or to move around. On carpet or on hard surfaces, these casters are absolutely amazing. They are the easiest to roll that we've ever seen. We were so impressed with the performance of this luggage that we have decided to become Level 8 affiliates and we can offer you a 10% discount should you choose to order using our affiliate link which is in the description of this video and the code is CRUISEREPORT10. We hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions please put them in the comments section down below. Thanks again for joining us and we'll see you next time.